Hello, Valorant players, hope you are doing well. Today's videos will discuss structuring and lagging issues in Valorant. This video is basic but detailed, focusing mostly on how your Valorant optimization can cause these issues, if done correctly. Windows optimization can benefit you at an advanced level, otherwise, no matter how much you optimize Windows, structuring will likely occur in your game. Let's jump into the guide and fix the issue. Step 1. Set game on high DPI scaling. Override an application. Setting Valorant to use high DPI scaling. Override an application ensures sharper and visual and better performance by allowing the game to manage its own scaling. For that, simply you can right-click on your Riot client or Valorant properties and then open file location. Or you can simply open file explorer and then go into the C drive and then Riot games then Valorant, then Live, and then right-click on your Valorant application, Compatibility Change Settings for All Users, and then Change High DPI Settings. Now set here Override High DPI Scaling Behavior. Scaling performed by application. You can also check this option Disable Full Screen Optimization and hit Apply. Now one more option you need to do here. Shooter Games. Binary. Win 64 and then scroll down until you will get here the valuable Win 64 shipping. Then go into the Properties Compatibility Change Settings for all users, and then again change High DPI Settings. Check this option Set by Application, and then click on. OK, you can also check this option. Disable Full Screen Optimization Hit, Apply. OK, and that's it. Step number two in Windows 10 Graphics Settings. You can set games to use the integrated GPU for power saving or the dedicated GPU for high performance. Without these settings, your game may become choppy, stutter, and lag significantly. To apply these settings, click on the Windows icon, then go into the settings, and then find here the game options. The first thing you need to find here, the game mode. Make sure enable this option, and then go into the graphics settings. Make sure enable the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and then click on browse. And then simply you need to import your game from right. Game C drive, which is Valorant Live. Valorant add the another file shooter games. Binary win 64. And then Valorant win 64 shipping. After adding these both options, just go into the option. And choose the high performance if you are using external. Otherwise you don't need to add these files. Step number three, disabling HPET high precision event timer. Disabling HPET can reduce input lag and improve game performance on some system. You can experiment with this settings. Turn it on for better performance, but if you are facing lag and input delay, then turn it off. In my case, mostly I turn it off. So for that, right click on your Windows icon then you need to find here the Device Manager and then expand the System Devices. Now select any file and you can press H. You will directly get here the HPET, which is High Precision's Even Timer. Right? Click on it, go into the Properties, and then go into the Drivers and then disable this device. Click on Yes, it's OK. And then close it now. Step number four and five is combine GPU settings and in-game settings. In-game and GPU settings should mostly be set according to your specification. Avoid blindly copying settings from other YouTubers or any other person as this can lead to performance issues. A recommended approach is to use the NVIDIA app, still in beta but effective. Simply open it and configure your settings. Let me show you. First, you can download it. I will provide the link in the description. It will be easier for you to navigate and after installation, you will get here. Just right click and then open the NVIDIA app. Now this application have a lot of features, guys. But we are working here for graphics, settings, and system optimization. So what you need to do here, there's two options. Just choose your game first, and then you will see here in game settings, and then driver settings. So what we are gonna do here, 
First click on the Optimize and then move this arrow to World Performance and then Update. That's it. Your game is automatically adjusted according to your PC specification. Now in the Driver Optimization, it's automatically just click on the global settings and you will see here the GPU, NVIDIA GeForce, GTX, 1066 gigabytes. Then DSR is off. Image scaling is off low latency mode, is on ultra maximum frame rate, is off power management mode. You can choose the preferred maximum performance, then shade cache driver default, and then vertical sync is off. Synchronization is off. Now, another thing is in my case, though my GPU is not supporting, but automatic tuning is supported on GeForce GTX 16 series and RTX 20 series are greater GPU. Actually, this tab can help you to overclock or undervolted your GPU easily without getting any issues. Like, like it's safe so you can do it now. The last option. But it's important network basic optimization in which I will explain two steps. The first, the most common issue is input delay, which can prevent your bullets from connecting. This is rarely highlighted on YouTube, possibly because many YouTubers are not familiar with it or for other reasons. But anyways, these two options are more important. The first one is disable Trito. Trito is a network protocol used to enable IPv6 connectivity over IPv4 networks. Disabling it can help reduce input delay issues. For disabling this, you can just click on the Windows icon search for CMD. Right-click on CMD Run as Administrator pop-up will appear. Just click on Yes, and then paste here the command. I will provide this command in the description simply to paste and hit Enter. You will get here the OK. But make sure run the command prompt as an administrator. Last step, if your router has an option for IPv6, disable it. Valorant doesn't perform well with IPv6, causing input delays. So here you need to type here the 192.168.1 and hit enter to open the network gateway. And then you can just log in. Once you are here, in my case, I'm using BTCM. You need to actually tweak, or you can actually find a lot of videos on YouTube in the management management and diagnosis. Here is IPv6, which I just turn it off already because it's create a lot of input delay. So you can just disable it, right? I have faced all these issues at some point and this information's come from my personal experience and, and discussions with the Valorant support team. I hope today's video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and tech support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <sighs>